Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I have an entire row of tin to put in with no obstacles. I guess the only obstacle, the only real obstacle is the cold. Today is the coldest day in the 10 day forecast. It was near zero overnight, so it got real cold in here. And the high today is about 25. It is actually warmer than 25 in here right now, but I've been out here for about an hour and I'm already feeling cold. I made these things right away. I almost forgot about them. These are my depth sticks and these will get stapled to the joists and the trusses wherever and they'll give me an indication of how deep to blow in the blown in insulation. I'll be stapling those well on this about right here. I want them about in the middle of the joists and they'll stick up and let me know how deep to blow in the insulation and like on the back here we have that line marked it's actually a little bit cooler up here than it is down there which is the opposite of what it normally is usually with the sun beating on this tin up here it's a good deal warmer up here but we have 20 mile an hour sustained winds so that wind is coming right through the soffit fence and making it pretty cold up here. You could see yesterday's progress here. With any luck, I'll be able to get an entire row in and this next row will bring me to six feet and I'll have about two feet left over here and I'll have to get in and put in the insulation from there. Once I get up towards the end, I can do it over the truss. So. Hopefully I don't have any problems with that. I know it's going to get really tight in the corners here and there, but we'll figure out a way to do it. From here on in, the panels just get hooked on the previous panel, and I'll have to screw them from this side over to flatten them out. And what I think I'm going to do is get the panel in and then I'll have to clamp the end because the end really wants to flop around. Get the screws in, screw it this way, and then take them clamps off, put the staples in. Yeah, I think that's, that's the plan for the outside ones. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do the inside ones. I'm guessing, yeah, I'll just have to lift it up and use a few wedges and stuff and get it nice and tight against the ceiling. It should work out just fine, but we'll find out real soon. This first panel, I have to get it up and then around the hardware here. And I'm going to take off this blocking right away. Yeah, I got that one off already. Oh, actually, no, it only needs this outside one off so that it fits over the garage hardware. When I do the center panel, I have to take both of those off so that it fits up over the hardware. I guess it's not obstacle free, but it has no cuts or anything for the most part. I guess this really isn't obs I guess this it I guess this really isn't obstacle free, but it's cut free and they're full panels, so Let's get started on this. Try to get this one jiggled and joggled and get it up in there and we'll see how it goes.
All right, this panel is up, but with the amount of overhang, the only place I can clamp it is right on the end rib there, which I guess is just fine. All that really needs to happen is that that rib is exactly over the previous rib all the way down. So what I'm gonna have to do now is come over here, trace my line for the screws, do the same thing over here, and just push it up nice and tight and get that first screw in. And just like on this panel where I went that way, on the second and basically all the rest of them, after the first screw, I'll work my way that way to flatten the panel out. Then once that's done, I'll come back here and work my way that way with the staple gun and get that up in place. Thought I'd show you this real quick. This is my coffee from yesterday. Solid as a rock. Okay, let's get going on this. Okay, I got one panel in. I'm gonna try to show you what I do with the screws, but for the most part, I'm just taking a nail. After I get a line, I'm taking a nail and I push the panel up as tight as I can up to the joist and then I take a nail and tap it on, or I tap on the nail with a hammer to get a starting hole and then shoot a screw up into it. Looking pretty good. I missed the joist a few times with the stapler, but again, that's not gonna matter at all. The next panel covers that completely. <clears throat> all right. I just got to move a couple things, grab a panel, and we'll get that next one in. All right, I have my second panel lifted up into place. It is dramatically easier to just get a panel up there, use a couple wedges to push it up into place, than to go up and over this garage door hardware, or make cuts and go over the garage door hardware. All right, I'm gonna hurry up and try to get this screwed in and get this last panel in. The cold temperatures out here are turning the camera off occasionally, so I'm not gonna be able to record as much as I'd like to. But the good news is, in the next 10 day forecast, today is the coldest day. So without this wind and cold, it should be fairly toasty in here for the rest of this, but we'll see regardless of whether it's toasty or not for the rest of the ceiling, it's not gonna be that bad. All right, let me get this screwed into place and hopefully get this one in. My feet are freezing, so I'm gonna to have to take a break at some point and that really messes with your day. All right, I got this panel in. It went in without a hitch. Now I took off the blocking here and there so that this thing can go up and over the garage door hardware. One thing about this panel, it'll be the first one with four panels overlapping. This one right here is three. I got one, two, three, and then this will make it four. They're all gonna be like that, but this will be the first time it's done. All right, let me go grab a panel and I'll show you this being lifted up and over that. And then we'll be doing a little bit of insulating over there. I'm not sure how far I can get today. It's about, I think it's about 1230. This panel only took 50 minutes. If this one takes, oh, maybe an hour, I'll be able to get some insulating done. At least I can get it all cut. But there's a lot of stuff to do in this area right here. And I only have this tiny little opening to do it in. Should be pretty darn interesting, but I don't know if it's gonna happen today or not. All right, let me get that panel on here. All right, I think that was yesterday where this cable popped and the whole thing came down a little bit, made a lot of noise. What I'm doing now is once the cable starts building up on this side, I just yank it off. I'm wearing gloves, so it doesn't matter all that much. But, I mean, this is a really poor design, but that's the way to cope with it. Don't let it build up all the way up to the edge here and then kind of fall off and let the whole thing drop down. All right, 
let's move this thing we're gonna have to tuck that end all the way through there over to where it gets fastened over there this one is kind of a bitch All right, let me show you how I'm doing this before I forget. Once I got my first screw in, well, I tapped the panels until they were dead flush with each other. Got my first screw in after making sure that my channels were overlapped perfectly. Then I worked my way all the way down to the other end, making sure that the channel was overlapped. Now I'm gonna come back to this one. I already drew my line. I'll put three more screws in this then go to the next one, draw my line, and continue that down to the end. Then I'll put my screws all the way to the outside and work my way back. That way it makes sure that the panel is fully flat up against the joists up there. If you just put like all the screws here and then go to this next one and put all the screws, when you get to the other end, it may not be completely on the channel and same thing with working this way if you just put all of them in and then go to the next one you may get a kink somewhere all right let's get going get this thing screwed in let me check the time real quick not too bad yeah that took oh, a little over a half hour to get that panel up there and started like that It'll probably take another 20 minutes to get it screwed into place, but this can go much quicker once I get past this bay right here. Like this bay right here has nothing in the way, but then we get to the furnace there, but that's not that big of a deal. Well, maybe a big deal. All right, but these are going to go faster once we get out of this bay right here. All right, we have an entire row in. Pretty good time as well but it's getting really cold out here the camera just crashed because of the cold and my batteries won't charge anymore i couldn't get the battery for the camera to charge either so i'm gonna have to go put them in the house and get them charged and warm myself up with the time i have left after i go warm up a little bit i'm just gonna cut some fiberglass for tomorrow there's no more time to do anything up here tonight let me show you what we got up here. Got a one foot opening here. This is what I'm gonna have to do to get the insulation in here. I have a pre-cut, well, I gotta tape this first. So what I'm gonna do is tape each bay and then put the insulation in and then move to the next bay. This will have two pieces. This will have one. And of course we got these little pieces here and there. Yeah, once we get past this, all of the insulation is gonna be pretty easy. There's gonna be no little pieces or anything. 
yeah it's actually colder up here than it is down there but it's been getting colder all day the shop must have retained the heat overnight from yesterday because it is definitely getting colder out here all right let me grab some batteries and go get them charged and charge myself up and i will be back to cut some fiberglass okay i came back out here and got all the insulation for tomorrow cut all of this all of that over there that stuff on top of there and that right there along with two of these r30s is all going in tomorrow holy moly yeah i think it's going to take a fair amount of time to fit stuff around this because at the same time i need to take this stuff off and drop a plumb bob down to there so i know where that electric line goes up through there so i can insulate around that as well it's going to be kind of tricky in this corner but once i get that done the rest of this is just go up a ladder slide two of these in and then move to the next one a lot of going up and down the ladder but it shouldn't take all that long with any luck i'll be able to move on to the next panels tomorrow and at least get one or two of those in who knows maybe three but i doubt it all right so tomorrow's going to be another busy day if you want to see it make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon if you have any questions or comments make sure you put them in the comment section below and if you share the video and or give it a like it helps the channel out greatly thanks for watching and have a great day